And these dogs have joined the search and rescue efforts in Dnipro. Emergency services have been working tirelessly since Saturday afternoon's attack. We've been working here for 19 or 20 hours without sleep or without rest. In freezing temperatures, a group of firefighters found a lightly dressed woman still alive more than 18 hours after the residential building was hit. But hopes are fading of finding more survivors, with dozens of residents still missing. Two stairwells were destroyed by the missile, which the Ukrainian military said was a KH-22 launched from Russia's Kursk region. The explosion was very long. It seemed so long. My child and I were screaming so hard that my throat hurt. I don't know what the point was. There isn't a single military facility here. This is a residential area. Russia's defense ministry said its forces had launched a wave of strikes against Ukrainian military and infrastructure sites, but did not mention Dnipro. In his nightly address, President Vladimir Zelensky vowed that the search for survivors would continue, then switched to Russian to condemn Russian people's silence. We're fighting for every person. The rescue operation will last as long as there is even the slightest chance to save lives. I want to say to all of those in Russia or from Russia, who even now are not able to utter even a word of condemnation of this terror, your cowardly silence and attempt to wait out what is happening will only end with these same terrorists one day coming for you. Russia also targeted Kyiv and Kharkiv the same day, prompting more blackouts and ending a two-week lull in the airstrikes it's launched against Ukraine's power infrastructure and urban centers since October.